from Friday prayers to street protests. Indians in the capital, New Delhi, were in no rush to obey the government's ban on large gatherings. They wanted the scrapping of the citizenship law passed earlier this month. It paves the way for migrants from three neighboring countries, Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan, to become Indian citizens. But not if they are Muslim. Tens of thousands of protesters in various parts of the capital joined the outcry against what they say is divisive and discriminatory legislation by the ruling BJP Hindu Nationalist Party. In Delhi's Jama Masjid, Chandrasekhar Azad Rawan, a leader from the Dalit Party, a so-called untouchable caste, waved a copy of the Indian Constitution. Later, he even read sections from it. Security forces arrived as barricades were built. Government leaders haven't officially responded to Friday's protests. Protesters called for peace, harmony and non-violence. I pay my gratitude to Hindu, Christian, Sikh and Dalit brothers who are fighting this battle alongside us. I also want to tell it to the people here who make this rally a success by protesting peacefully and being united. In the northern city of Lucknow, the capital of Uttar Pradesh, police fought with protesters 24 hours after one person was killed. Two others were killed in Karnataka state. A ban on large gatherings has been imposed in both states. The port city of Mangalore in Karnataka remains under curfew till Sunday. More protesters waited until late evening to join in. Demonstrations turned violent in Delhi as police used water cannons against the protesters. People we talked to earlier today said that they had come to the streets to protest not only against the citizenship law, but also to stand up for India's secular constitution. More protests are planned in the coming days. Sabina Shrestha, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.